Hey everyone, Pastor Sam Whitaker here in my office in Mohawk, and I want to give you a little bit of a preview about what's going to be happening on Sunday at Mohawk Community Church, as well as do a couple of recommended resources. So this coming Sunday is going to be Reformation Sunday, because uh, the Sunday is October 29th, but on October 31st, it marks the 500th anniversary of what is called the Protestant Reformation. It's the reason why we meet uh, in churches like we do, and we're not meeting still in Roman Catholic churches in Europe somewhere. Um, it marks the day that Martin Luther, a man named Martin Luther, took uh, 95 different points or theses of protest, and he nailed them to the, uh, the cathedral door of All Saints Church in Wittenberg, Germany. Uh, he was a German monk, an Augustinian monk, and he, he had a problem with the church of his day. He saw them doing things that weren't in line with the Bible, and he believed that their beliefs weren't in line with the Bible, and so he, he nailed these 95 theses to the door of Wittenberg uh, Cathedral so that he could have a discussion with the other faculty and staff of the college there where he was a professor. Uh, and then the whole thing just really blew up on him. Uh, and uh, it leads us to where we are today here. Even in America, 500 years later, um, we're still feeling the, the shock waves of that protest. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about our Reformation heritage um, and uh, what, it, what it means to continue on 500 years later. And not just look back on a Reformation that happened, but understand that God, through his scripture, calls us to continue to keep on reforming, not just be people who are reformed, but reforming, uh, because God seeks to renew our minds daily through the scriptures and the gospel. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk a little bit about some gospel church history, mainly focused on the gospel, mainly focused on who God is and what God is been up to in the world, what he continues to do. So we're going to talk a little bit about the Reformation and what it means for people like uh, you and for me. Uh, so I also wanted to kind of go along with that. I wanted to give you a few resources that I really highly recommend um, that, that are kind of in line with the whole Reformation theme. The very first one is, if you don't have a Bible uh, that you regularly use, I highly recommend this, which is a study Bible, but it's very specifically the Reformation Study Bible, uh, which is uh, published by Reformation Trust, uh, which is a part of Ligonier Ministries. Um, I don't know if you know who R.C. Sproul is, but he started Ligonier um, many, many years ago in Pennsylvania, and they're now located in Sanford, Florida. But it's a great study Bible. It's got lots of wonderful uh, notes on the text of Scripture, but also in the back it includes a number of different articles on really helpful topics, plus it actually includes some uh, Christian creeds from history, uh, London Baptist Confession of 1689, uh, Westminster Confession of Faith, uh, and Shorter Catechism, um, and it's got all kinds of great stuff in the back, so I can't really highly recommend this enough. It comes in English Standard Version and the New King James Version. I use the ESV because it's what I prefer to preach out of and uh, study out of. So also on Martin Luther, there is a, this is the classic text, and there's loads of different editions of this book, but it's called Here I Stand, um, A Life of Martin Luther by Roland Bainton. And it is kind of considered to be the standard text on the life of, of Martin Luther and getting into who this guy was. So that's uh, that's a highly recommended book. There's, a lot, like I said, lots of different editions. This isn't the only cover out there. Um, also on Martin Luther, there is, and this is new, this came out uh, earlier this year. It's a documentary on Martin Luther, the times uh, in which he lived, the kind of person that he was. So lots of pastors and scholars in this, and it's about an hour and a half long. It's a really, really great documentary. I can't recommend this one enough. Uh, also, there are a number of other different things we want to talk about. So this is a book by R.C. Sproul called What is Reformed Theology? So it traces back to Martin Luther, traces back to the early reformers, and talks about well, what is it that sets them apart uh, in terms of what what, you know, what we believe, what they believed. Um, and it kind of actually, I think, adds some helpful correctives 
for us today because I think our theology is starting to get away from us uh, in a serious way here in America. Uh, another one is this one called Justified by Faith Alone. This is, uh, this is available at Ligonier.org. Um, you might be able to find it elsewhere online as well. But this is a 10-session um, study series by R.C. Sproul. Uh, he covers topics like the 95 Theses uh, that Martin Luther nailed to the, Catholic, uh, the, the Roman Catholic stores there in Wittenberg. Um, he talks about the Roman Catholic view of justification, and he talks about the doctrine of justification itself and how it actually appears in the sacred scriptures and what it is we need to understand about that. And then this one's a bit of a mammoth one, but it's a really kind of important historical one. This is the Institutes of the Christian Religion by John Calvin, who was another very early reformer uh, who came along a few years after Luther. So John Calvin wrote this, and this is basically a theology or a systematic theology covering um, very important topics from the Bible. And uh, I'm actually only a little ways into it so far. That's about how far into it I am. But it's really, really good. It's not hard to understand. It is a thick book, but it is actually really quite readable. And this is, um, uh, this is a, a new translation. This was originally published in 1541. Uh, and Calvin was a French reformer, and he uh, uh, ministered in Geneva. Um, but uh, this has uh, been translated several times. But this is a really good translation. So if you're looking for something meaty to chew on, I highly recommend Calvin's Institutes. So those are my recommendations for um, just kind of getting into the, the groove of the reformed thing and uh, the stu studying and celebrating the 500-year anniversary of the Reformation. So those are some things that I think uh, could be helpful for you. Um, and I, I pray that you guys are going to have a great day. And uh, hey, uh, keep on reforming.